This video is about whether you should go with the Sony a7 III or the Sony a7 IV. Right off the bat, the Sony a7 III is for you if you are solely looking to create photography with little to no video, and the Sony a7 IV is great for you if you're solely looking to get into video with little to no photography because although Sony marketed the a7 IV as a hybrid camera, its video specs are comparable to the FX3, a7S III, and the FX30, which are all Sony's entry-level cinema or video centric cameras disclaimer the sony a7 III is also great for video but when comparing the two it is more of a photo camera and i will explain a little more why i'm saying that later in the video so with that i could be wrong about all of it but hear me out the majority of the test videos say that the a7 IV video is better than the a7s III video because it is down sample from a 7k sensor plus the higher megapixel count and even with putting the camera in crop modes the picture and resolution are much better than the fx30 the combination of the high megapixel count even allows you to go all the way up to 12,800 and still get a pretty clean image although the official base iso is 800 and the unofficial second base iso is 3200 and you get the 33 megapixel for photos that gives you a little over half the resolution of the sony a7r4 and even the sony a7r5 it is an all-around camera when it comes to photo and video features but highlighting those video features of it being comparable to the sony a7s3 is why i would think it's more of a video centric camera when it comes to the a7 III. If you're looking for a camera that takes great photos and video as a second thought, then go with the a7 III. The a7 III has a 26 megapixel sensor, which is well over enough megapixels for the majority of cases and scenarios. And with the right picture profile and settings, you can even shoot semi-clean low light video. And the autofocus is still on par with some of the newer systems that are out today. If you're looking for a camera that does phenomenal video and photography as a second thought, then go with the a7 IV. Even with all of the cropping it does, you have access to 10 bit color, which is great for color grading. When comparing the a7 III to the a7 IV, it is like comparing the a7 IV to the a7S III. Two different cameras that do the same thing, but one camera does some of the things just a little better. They are definitely comparable. For instance, if you were to compare the A7S III to the A7IV, then you would go with the A7IV for photography and the A7S III for video if you were looking for either a video-centric camera and a photo-centric camera where both can do photo and video. One does photo better and the other does video better. Depends on who you ask. Now, in my opinion, an A7 III and an A7 IV are both definitely comparable and produce great work and if you want to see more of these videos where i compare cameras why don't you hit the like maybe subscribe and it'll show me you want to see more videos like this but i thank you for liking subscribing and staying awesome stay awesome